हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्पर्म स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन स्पर्म सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन इन यूर एनुअल एग्जामिनेशन फॉर फाइव मार्क्स so usually draw a neat label diagram draw neat labeled diagram of human sperm so which is expected question in the annual examination for 5 marks so for this uh, and especially for the remedial students it's the most easiest uh, diagram you can draw so there are three reasons what we observed so already know that what is sperm right so it's a haploid male gamete which is produced in the seminiferous tubules of the testis so uh, usually explain when they ask you need to write these all points but uh, if they ask you only draw and neat label diagram so you practice the diagram and uh, label the parts right first we go through the the diagram how to draw and uh, what are the parts we should label so first we start with the head region there are three regions what we observe no head neck and tail so here head region you can show so you make a arc like structure here first then you make small cap like structure like this this you can prepare like this first so later on you will come to understand what it is yes so next you can make here this is the prominent nucleus nucleus somewhat oval shape but uh, some at lower region the a small pit like structure you should show and this is what the nucleus and then you cover it the head region this is what the head region so you can draw like this head region it is right so you can draw the head region like this the head region appears to be oval shape right so the next part you can show the neck this is what the neck region very short uh, area the same size you can draw or less more or less as much is enough the middle piece you can show it as middle piece right so there are reasons what we call no so you can show the nucleoplasm here 
nucleoplasm disc the nucleus and next you are drawing the middle piece so first i label this is the head part this is what the head and this portion is called s yes, neck region that's and this much you can show this part is known as s yes, middle piece middle middle piece right so the middle piece these are the three reasons you should show first later on you can show here the tail reason tail tail reason it is and elongated you can show like this tail right so this portion is mentioned as tail right head and head neck this is what head neck middle piece and tail right so in the middle piece and here in the the neck region just below the nucleus there is a centriole right there are two centrioles you can show proximal centriole and distal centriole and distal centrioles makes the central filament you can show like this right central filament is to the end tail region you can show it and in the middle piece you should show the arrangement of mitochondrial sheet so that is the very important part of this diagram so you should mention here the mitochondrial sheet that is arranged like this so this is what the mitochondrial sheet In this way, you can show and here these are the mitochondria which are arranged in this sheet, hence, it is called mitochondrial sheet. Yes, these are the mitochondria. So, even we also call it as Nebenkern, Nebenkern. See here, you can mention the parts now in detail. So, this is what the head reason is covered by as usual plasma membrane both the in sperm means it is a cell right so plasma membrane is the outermost layer of the sperm plasma membrane it is plasma membrane and next one this is what the acrosome Yes, it is called the acrosome. So it's modified from the Golgi polys, Golgi complex, and which produces the enzymes, helps to dissolve the egg membranes during the fertilization process. That's what the acrosome is very important part, which is uh, present above the uh, nucleus. It's uh, just like cap-like structure on the nucleus at the anterior side of the 
head region and this this is what the wall shape nucleus nucleus containing chromatin material or chromosomal material chromosomal material so which is haploid in nature haploid one set of chromosomes will be there from paternal chromosomes and this is the proximal centriole centriole and this is the distal distal centriole so this distal centriole forms the exoneme the central exoneme you can say exoneme and this is what the mitochondrial sheet mitochondrial mitochondrial sheet so this mitochondrial sheet is also called the neuvenkern so we refer the term so just it is enough to write the part but uh, it's also called neuvenkern neuvenkern right this also may be expected for one mark also and what is the function of acrosome or also asked for one marks in this detail right so usually the mitochondria are arranged in this part in the middle piece and hence and uh, as you know that mitochondria produces energy for house of the cell hence it is called engine room of engine room of sperm so it is expected for one marks yes it is a engine room of sperm that is in the middle piece mitochondrial sheet right so why we called engine room because it produces the energy right which is required for the sperm motility sperm is continuously moving so due to presence of this middle piece containing mitochondria and tail region right so as well uh, usually the cytoplasm is very reduced here and nucleoplasm is there in the nucleus this is what the sperm structure so next part is after middle piece the remaining part either you can show it uh, 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 like this turn or you can also extend the down and full phase you can utilize to draw this diagram so very simple diagram you can practice this for many times until it uh, remembers for you so because expected question it is five marks and easiest question for the remedial students to gain a number of marks and at least you should label the uh, minimum eight uh, labelings you can also go through this one one two three four five six seven eight and these are extra what i have mentioned proximal centriole distal centriole and uh, exoneme so these are all i have mentioned here so even if you left any any eight labelings are required right a eight labelings are necessary here so you have to label eight and you will get for this four marks and uh, one mark for the diagram so we can practice this uh, better okay so uh, the usually explanation if they asked only you should mention this what is the head and uh, so what it contain and uh, neck region contain proximal and distal centrioles which produces this exony and uh, middle piece contain the mitochondrial sheet and which is also called nepenkern like this and tail part which is helps to motor uh move the sperm right so uh, this is what uh, the very important uh, thing and the the sperm along with the the fluid secreted by the uh, that uh, three glands and uh, that's what we called uh, the uh, semen we refer it as a semen semen and this is what uh, the sperm is present in the the fluid is called a semen Right. This is the 
structure of uh, sperm draw and draw and label the parts so do practice so by this you can get the five marks thank you students